Did you ever wonder what happens to the water that goes down your toilet or shower drain? For many towns in Atlantic County, it comes here, the Atlantic County Utilities Authority Wastewater Treatment Facility. Back in the 1970s, many of America's waterways were polluted with toxic chemicals and waste. To fix this, the federal government created the Clean Water Act. The Clean Water Act required wastewater, that's the dirty water that's flushed down the sewers, to be cleaned to a much higher level before it's discharged. Our regional wastewater treatment plant was built during this time to properly clean the wastewater in our area. Today, the plant cleans about 28 million gallons of wastewater per day from 14 towns in Atlantic County before it's discharged into the ocean. So how does it work? Miles of underground pipes transport wastewater from toilets, showers, sinks, and washers to our treatment plant in Atlantic City. Once the water gets here, it passes through screens that remove objects that shouldn't be in there, like baby wipes. As you can see, the process is very gross. After this, the water goes into large tanks called primary clarifiers, where a slowly moving arm removes heavy solids that sink to the bottom and skims off the oily stuff we call scum that floats on the surface. The water then moves into large tanks called aeration basins. Here, millions and millions of bacteria and other microscopic critters eat up the waste that remains in the water. As these tiny bugs eat up all the waste, they grow and clump together. The water then goes into secondary clarifiers where the remaining solids can now sink to the bottom and be removed. After this, the water gets treated with chlorine to kill any leftover germs. Now the water travels out to the ocean through a long pipe. The pipe extends a mile and a half out from the beach in Atlantic City. Throughout the entire process, the water is tested by our scientists in the laboratory to make sure it's being cleaned properly. In these samples, you can see what the water looks like when it comes into the plant and what it looks like when it leaves. Now that the wastewater has been cleaned and discharged in the ocean, we still have to do something with the waste that was removed. We call this stuff biosolids. Biosolids go into centrifuges that spin and spin to remove as much water as possible before the waste goes into the multi-hearth incinerator. This is a super hot furnace which burns the biosolids, leaving only ash, which is taken to the landfill for safe disposal. As you can see, this process takes a lot of work. That's why we've enlisted the help of wind turbines and solar panels. Wind makes the turbine spin to power a generator that creates electricity. Solar panels capture energy from the sun when it shines. Solar and wind power create clean, renewable energy, which help us to power our facility. Pretty cool, right? Solar and wind power are great ways to reduce pollution. They help keep our planet clean and save us money at the same time. Thanks for joining us on a tour of our facility. We hope you can come visit us one day in person to see this powerful process at work. In the meantime, you can help us keep our waterways clean by not flushing chemicals, wipes, or medicine down the drain. And of course, never litter. Visit our website, acua.com tours for more information.